guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on another exciting time on Chilling with Naya. It's your girl, Naya. So today I'm gonna be doing a special video. I'm gonna be showing you how I tie my turban or headgear. It all depends on what you wanna call it. I'm gonna be showing you how I do it. I love to wear this. So anytime I'm having like a bad hair day, uh, that's my go-to. <laughs> okay, so stick with me. I'm gonna show you how I do this. Thank you guys for coming back and watching my channel. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, don't forget to subscribe. And if this is your 100th time watching me, I say thank you for watching me. So for the purpose of this video, uh, right now I have this two cute, cute pops on my head. It's not gonna be very convenient to tie the scalp. So I'm gonna take this out. For me, I go ahead and I use the, the wig cap. The wig cap just makes it more manageable for me. So I tie it together. It doesn't really, it doesn't matter if it's equal or not. That doesn't, doesn't really matter. Just tie it to the back. So once I have this secured, I'll go ahead and bring both ends to the front. If I want it in the center, it would be here in the center. But if I want it to be by the side, I think I like it by the side. So I'll make my bone come here to the side. <laughs> Put it together, hiding the shorter part inside this longer part. Trying to cover it up in it. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So the tip, I'll just tuck it in. This would be the look. So I went ahead and I used um, Edge Control. It's the Black Panther Edge Control. You could use any one you want to, but this one I just use. Um, it kind of holds my hair, so yeah, I use that. So another quick thing that you can do is if you want the bulb here to be like really super big, I'm gonna do a puff right here in front. I'm gonna use this, it's just curtain um, T-shirt. Put it right here on my head, trying to secure it properly. And then I'll take the scarf. Fold it again, hope you can see this, but not equal halves, just a little bit. Using my hands to properly secure the scarf so I don't lose the piece inside. Cross it over. Just cross it over. Take it this way, across the puff that I have in here just to make sure that it's properly secured. Not too tight though, just gently. So once I have that done, I would again secure this short one into the long one so we don't have the tag or anything sticking out. Once I have that. So once I have it there, I would again secure this loose end, the fringe hair, tuck it in underneath the scarf. It's all about securing and putting everything in place. Okay. Again, I don't have a mirror. I have a mirror right behind me, but <laughs> I just don't want to like start moving my lights and my camera. So I'm just going to freestyle this. If you have a short hair like mine and then you want to like have look like you have a lot more hair put it all up here and looks like this is your hair here or if you have braids and you want to still wrap your head you can as you can pack your hair all up in a bun put it right here and then wrap the scarf around it and secure it it's about the same thing so with long hair short hair you can still rock this style voila this is a look hope you like it it's always easier to <laughs> destroy than to build. See how fast it was to just take it out of my head and see how much it took us time to wrap it. Another way would be to have it in almost equal halves because this is a big scarf. Almost equal but not exactly. Again to the back. Once I have it at the back, I'll first of all secure the shorter one. It should wrap it. So I think doing it individually is better. So this is fine and then I'll just go ahead and secure this last one by wrapping it. 
and this is the longer hand where I fit it right and I'm good to go. I can move it back even further more if I want to. It all depends on the look you're trying to pull or what you're trying to achieve. Don't forget that you have the wig cap on there so you have to be careful and make sure that you're not exposing the wig cap. So you can put it as far back as you want it to go and that is it. This shows you where the front is so you can tell because it's directly opposite the the back where, where it's all um, sewed together so you put your head like so or you put it this way again make sure your wig cap is behind or pulled band once I have it secured I start wrapping that's all this is about wrapping I like it firm and tight so try to get get it in layers making sure I don't block the X and then for this end here I just tuck it in so you could get like um, you could get like a fashion piece a fashion pin and a brush put it in there to secure it put a put a brush here or put a brush here but I just wear mine this way I just tuck it in and it's good to go. This is a short version. I actually bought this from um, a regular beauty supply store. Since it's this short, you can wear it like this. For someone who has braids, you have braids or you have like really long hair or something, or you have like um, fox locks, or you have like thick, even dreads or whatever you have on, it can, it can rest in here. This gives it room to rest, so you don't even have to tie it or whatever. If you don't want, if you have short hair like me and you don't want this hanging around here because it feels like, uh, what is this, like what, what, what is this? You could just <laughs> tuck it in this way and then it's secure. And you don't have to worry about that which is my best Ta -da! can you tell I'm super excited I love this red color uh, well red is not my best color but when it comes to tabans this particular red color is my favorite you will think it would choose a lot like it'll be very it's, it'll be very selective like when you're trying to match it with something no you can wear this with anything you can wear it with red red on red jeans black white like this is my go-to okay let's get it started <laughs> the same thing oh, <laughs> i think this is a little bit like a teeny bit longer than the other than the blue one Okay, so <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god, come on, girl. Yeah, the X, same thing. Mm. This, so I have the X in place, I believe, and then I start wrapping. <laughs> I start wrapping. Sometimes it, it's a big struggle to maintain your hair and you don't want to like start brushing, combing, pulling. You just want to just put something in up and go. Have your makeup done and just go. Like go, 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 go. Yes, you can achieve one more wrap with this. Nice. Again, I tuck it in. Tuck it in. So once I have this secure, again move it a little bit back and i have room to get my baby head laid mm. Mm. <laughs> can you tell i really really love this color like i feel like it just pops it just pops i love it i do love it you can try it a Huh. B. Hmm. I'm studious. I'm serious. A B. Hmm. I hope you
hope you love this look let me know if you enjoyed um me tying my toba i hope you learned from it if you did learn from it please don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment if you did and let me know how you tie yours or let me know what you do with your hair or to your hair when you're having a bad hair day until i see you again don't forget to stay safe wash your hands sanitize and social distance have a great day